Iowa's drummer hits a fast beat as Herky the Hawkeye and friend whoop it up for a pass-minded Iowa team. And the Hawks possessed one of the nation's most thrilling passers, a hometown product from Iowa City, Gary Snook. In slow motion, Snook passes to Carlin Ryan. He makes the catch, dodges through tacklers, and winds his way downfield. All in all, picks up 38 yards before he's finally all down. Coach Jerry Burns groomed some great receivers. Carl Noonan, who never caught a pass in a college game until this year, takes Snook's throw, juggles it for a second, holds on for a 32-yard game. Snook throws again to Noonan. This one good for 30 yards and a touchdown. Noonan led the league in receptions with 40 for 652 yards. He broke every existing Iowa reception record, and predictions are he'll do it again in 65. Here's how he does it. We zero in on his moves and see why he's so hard to catch. See those fakes? Looks again. He's got it. This one good for 26 yards. In slow motion again, the Hawkeyes execute some backfield wizardry. Snook handing off to Simpson, who reverses to Noonan, and he throws the pass this time. There's a switch. Good to Rich O'Hara. Tackled as he goes down after a 45-yard pickup. Another snook pass to Noonan coming up. Catches it. Laterals to Kimball, good for a 36-yard gain. Shades of the old flea flicker play. Snook led the league in passing over 1,500 yards and a 47% completion mark. All in all, nine touchdowns. Iowa had runners, too. Gary Simpson plunges through guard, cuts and drives for 14 yards. And Snook can run as well as pass. Trapped near his own one-yard line, he swings right, cuts back at the line, and heads for the sidelines. Noonan throws a fine block coming up here. Snook goes 38 yards. Every single one of these Iowa stars will be back next year. No wonder there's optimism in Iowa City.